What up everybody, welcome to the channel. I am your host Mike Fury and I make informative videos just like this one. So please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And welcome to the top 10 tips or the top 10 essential tips for Greedfall. These are things that are gonna basically make your life a pleasure while you're performing all these tasks like killing guardians and dealing with over-sexualized characters. <laughs> let's go on go, let's go ahead and go right into it right number one lock picking is the best skill i don't we don't really have to go into too much depth here because you're lock picking you're opening up doors and you're opening up chests chests that wield probably 50 percent of the legendaries you will access in the game so if you want to maximize your loot if you want to maximize your legendaries if you want to get the best weapons and armors in the game i highly recommend having lock pick that is definitely my number one tip number two always always whenever you're at a vendor i number one make sure to check out every single city once you go into it it's the only like three cities but make sure to actually explore the city find the vendors and check their quest item slot always buy quest items it will relieve you of having to leave what you're doing to go then either craft or buy them just buy them off rip they're usually cheap this is legit one dollar or one coin i obviously have a lot this is an end game character so don't mind that but yeah make sure to go ahead and buy these it will leave you a lot of pain and suffering or at least a lot of backtracking from having to stop what you're doing go into another spot and then having to go ahead and grab this this is an essential that is my number two tip number three as we already talked about talents in previous videos always 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 tip number three would be have different armors with different talent buffs you, you guys know what i mean by this when you wear a different armor set if you have crafted it just come to this guy he's in the middle of your very first town talk to him get something crafted and each and every single armor set should have one of these either for science either for lock picking or either for vigor Tip number four, make sure to carry different costumes for different armors for different factions. This will allow you to actually not only stealth and traverse through their forbidden areas, but also help you in particular instances you'll eventually see in the game. But as you can see right here, again, end game character. At one point, I had like six different armors in the party, but obviously at this point in the time, it's a level 35 character. I ended the game at level 37, and it's just, you know, I like these two. I have this one carrying science, and I have this one carrying lockpicking. I don't need vigor, because vigor, I obviously have Siora in my squad, and Siora gives me a friendship bonus. But yeah. If you know your friendship bonuses and you know the different factions, you shouldn't be stuffing out too much. But if you're going to be stuffing, if you're going to be stealing from the different factions, make sure to have the different faction outfits. So they think you're part of them, but in reality, you're there to do the devil's work. <laughs> Tip number five, make sure to always carry at least bare minimum 300 to 500 gold on you at all times why because certain dialogue checks need you to bribe certain people which you can do and get yourself out of a sticky situation or just gather information just by wetting a few palms here and there but definitely as you can see right now i have again end game character 1700 coin that's overkill have at least 300 it will allow you to actually bribe characters or buy quest items whenever you need it make sure to just sell all the different armor sets and everything like that to make sure that you maximize the amount of coin that you actually get but yeah definitely always carry around 300 coin tip number six intuition is borderline one of the best skills in the game it's a top three skill in the game it will allow you to maximize your actual loot so one of the first skills that you should be mastering or should be trying to master is intuition unless you get the adventures dlc the adventure the three dollar dlc the basically gives you a couple cool items it gives you this armor set that allows you to get intuition points like it has it's the only one that allows one intuition point so therefore you don't need to use this here i didn't pay for that because i didn't think it was necessary and it doesn't come with the gold edition so keep that in mind but it's three bucks if anybody wanted it if they really just wanted to have the armor set by all means go ahead and grab it but i just maxed it out 
it's super useful allows you to get extra ingredients or actual ingredients when you're gathering uh you know hunter gatherer type of thing plants animals things of that nature yeah, allows you to get extra recycling whenever you're scrapping something on the scrap on the actual crafting board and allows you actually to get different dialogue options which is an essential also keep in mind vasco gives you the uh, intuition buff so if you add that if you add vasco to your team you don't need if you always want vasco on the team you don't need intuition points because he gives you you don't need three of them you can only use two of them and therefore add him and that's the third point right there at number seven you need at least one point one point for science just one you don't need to invest everything it's not that useful in my personal opinion it is in the bottom tiers of the actual talents themselves one single point it'll allow you to break walls and get access to certain locations that you haven't had access to before but they'll literally pop up and you'll literally just walk up to it and he'll just kind of like back up and then you'll see an explosion pops up and yeah it's useful for only that only for only for that other than that it's not too useful when it comes to actually like crafting things of that nature unless you're that type of person if you want to be a hunter or a or a marksman that wants to craft ammo and things of that nature and uh, like traps by all means use um get craftsman get science and therefore you're able to go ahead and get the most out of that but in my personal opinion not that worth it at number eight always buy borage and hawthorn herbs and also pick them up from the wild make sure to do that why because those are the two herbs that allow you to go ahead and craft your own like i said i don't like crafting but i'll just get a uh, kurt inside the party he gives me a crafting bonus off of his friend bonus just buy these you can grab these they almost every single vendor is um gives it to you and then you could just craft health potions craft mana potions as you can see right here i got 64 mana 54 health you just mark them to the d-pad is completely worth it if you're able to just buy them just buy it. hawthorne the other one get kurt in the party swap them out craft some potions and then swap them back out if you don't want to have them there and then you have a whole bunch of potions definitely highly recommend just buying those and picking them up from the wild in the wild red equals the health potion the, the little red berries the blue ones are obviously the magic magic energy potions or the borage potions or the yeah magic potions number nine i highly recommend doing this but as soon as you get into an area loot everything you see everything just don't even don't even do any quests just go around looking for stuff and you'll find like little compartments like that was a chest but you come over here another one over here and it's all gold ammo things like you know useful things very useful things so look around just all you got to do is pay attention to the sparkly gold part look borage right there that's that's two health potions or actually one health potion because it takes two of them to craft one but yeah make sure you grab it make sure you loot loot around look around make sure you get all of the extra chests and then proceed to do the missions that are you know required in that area also while you're looking around you could find uh chess and things of that nature and things that are very helpful for what you know what you're looking for you could also find you might even find like legendary armor sets and things of that nature while you're out exploration in a city definitely recommend just stopping by okay i'm here all right cool see look like right here i didn't notice this I didn't notice this all game. Like, look, what a better example. Didn't notice this all game. Granted, it's useless to me now because I'm a level 35, but earlier on, that might be something useful. But there you guys have it. That is the perfect egg example. Or, or look at that over there. We could do that one over there. Right over here. And that was a high tier one, or at least I had a two or a three. And I just got myself some cooler stuff. Got a trap, got some ammo, got ore, and got a glove, a hand, and some boots. So, there you guys have it. You guys, make sure to explore every single area before you do main missions, just so you could get the general loot, free loot that's literally available. And finally, the final essential tip, craftsman, or crafting, or craftsmanship skill, or however you want to call it, it's the craftsmanship skill. Yep, craftsmanship skill is useless. It is useless. You don't need it. I alluded to it earlier. There's a guy in this city, in this town. I'll show you guys on the map, just in case you guys need to know where it is. In New Serene. 
The blacksmith here, he can craft anything for a price. And the price is usually not that high, not too bad. Craft anything for a price. But if you want to craft anything, guess what you do? You come in here, you complete Kurt's entire, you know, on good terms, by the way. You complete it on good terms. You get his friend bonus, and then you just compose a team. And guess what? I'm going to swap out Afra. Swap her out, and I'm going to swap out for Kurt. As you guys saw... I don't have a craft i don't have a craftsmanship but i got kurt and kurt's bonus is craftsmanship <laughs> so guess what i do now as i alluded to earlier now i got a craftsmanship bonus go guess what i also do come over here workbench i have a skill now like i mentioned earlier you could always craft any quest items that you are required here you could just do that if you have the requisite skills for example just crafted myself one of those, crafted myself one of those. But let's say I want to do health potions. I want to do health potions. I got a crap ton to use. Over 365 materials. I'm about to make 100. Why not? Made 100. And then over here, I don't got too much borage, but it's there. Made a bunch. And now if I look at my settings, I got 104. <laughs> 104 health potions and 79 magic potions just in case I want to do magic and heal myself up. But there you guys have it that skill is not it doesn't scale as well as all the other ones it's not as good as all the other ones avoid craftsmanship just get kurt if you really want to you can have one point on it i do recommend having one point especially early on in the game but after you figured out how to get a craftsmanship point added to it screw that forget all about that respect it and use that point on something a lot more useful like either vigor um, charisma intuition lock picking anything like that much more useful even uh, even add that point to science if you really need to and you don't have a point in science add it because opening up those walls and getting access to those different areas much more useful than anything that you can get by just crafting right especially when the other guy just it's it's legit like what he charges you like a hundred coin just to craft anything it's not it's not that big of a deal but anyways guys those have been the 10 essential tips for greed fall i hope you guys enjoyed the video found it helpful if you did please hit the like button if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button if you want to support the channel in any way go ahead and check out the amazon link or the epic creator code both are down in the description below you can also check me out on tiktok twitter instagram links are down in the description below along with my patreon do consider supporting me there a dollar a day keeps in line a little way i'm your host mike fury it's been a complete pleasure until next time mike off